It's Tammy. Welcome back to my kitchen. And today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be cooking some sweet potatoes in the waffle iron. Believe it or not, I see this on Pinterest all the time and I've been so curious about it. So today we're going to try it out. So I've got some sweet potatoes, some green onions, some garlic, and some egg. I'm going to mix it all up. We're going to throw it into the waffle iron and see what the hell happens. It may work, it may not work. I'm going to actually try it two ways. So I'm also going to try it without the egg and see if it works that way. So we'll film both, okay? Be right back. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're just going to rub some butter. Now, if you don't want to use butter, you can always use um, just a cooking spray. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to, I. this is onion sweet potato, and I did go ahead and throw in some um, bacon, because I always keep cooked bacon in my freezer. I, I cook up about two pounds every other Sunday, keep it in the freezer so that we already ha always have it. So there we go, I've got that in there. Now, I'm using sweet potato, so I'm gonna close this now. Ooh. Okay, there, there it goes. So I'm using sweet potato. If you choose to use potato, remember you need to press it and get as much water out of it as possible. So we're gonna let that cook and I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so the potato is done and here's my guess why you never see this plated because to get it out, it's really not gonna stay together. Whoo, right? It actually smells really, really good. So, so there's the first one. It's kind of looking like a hot mess, but I think that's okay. So there's the first one. I'm gonna get out as much of this as I can, and then I'll show you the second one. All right, so here we go for the second one. I don't really have enough sweet potato to go on both sides, so I'm only gonna do one side. And then I'm gonna pour the egg over it. How's that? Alrighty. So, squish it down. And we'll wait and see how that goes. Okay, the lid came on. We are going to, let's see, lift this. Oh, look at that when you add the egg to it. Wow, that's, I'm kind of impressed right now. Um, oh, my plate's a little bit over here. So, here, here's it without egg, and there it is with the egg. Oh. You can see the egg spilled out. So there it is without the egg and with the egg. And um, I can tell you this, I've already tasted this and it was actually really good. I'm going to break a piece off. Oh my gosh, that's actually really good. A little salt and pepper and I think that would be excellent. Okay, so hold on just a moment and I'll be right with you. All right, so surprisingly, that came out really good with egg, without egg. I really enjoy it. Um, so not a bust, this one, thumbs up on this one. Um, but remember, if you're gonna use potato, remember to dry your potato out really well. With the sweet potato, because it has a lower moisture content, you don't need to do that, all right? So if you're living in a dorm or you're just starting out and all you've got is a waffle maker, I think that's the way to go. And for a different kind of weekend food, and it was real easy. I just kind of chopped everything up, threw it in there, and waited for the green light to come on, and it was done. So that's pretty damn easy if you ask me. So if you like the video, please give it a like down below and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see other recipes and DIY projects, head on over to my website. You'll also find that down below. That's at bristlyone.com. And you'll find photographs, recipes, DIY, and just my regular blog. All right? So remember, enjoy life. It's the one you have.